Hi, and welcome to the Health Begins with Moms show. I am Dorit Pavanov, your host. On this podcast, I will share insights and interviews on health, parenting, and explore the question of what does it take to thrive as women, wives, and mothers. Now, let's get going with today's episode. Hi, sweet mama, and welcome to the Health Begins With Mom podcast. I am Dorit Palvanov, your host. I've created this podcast for all of us women who are in the trenches of raising little human beings, struggling to feed them, support them emotionally, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Our children definitely need us, and we need them. But I think one of the hardest things in this process is to realize that the most challenging work of motherhood is to raise ourselves. The hardest thing to do is not to be a mother to them, but to mother yourself. I refer to this process as adulting, which is realizing that even when times are hard, it is our responsibility to show up as an adult, ask for help when needed, stay connected to other people who are going through a similar experience, but no matter what, please, please, please do not suppress your emotions. Do not numb yourself with drugs, alcohol, food, or other external things. We all struggle, we all go through hard moments, and it is definitely understandable that we need time to heal and retreat, but at the end of the day, life goes on, and we need to figure out how to be able to not only function and survive during these hard times, but also to thrive as a woman, as a wife, and as a mother. My intention with the show is to create space for all of us to learn from each other and to always know that we are not alone. And you know that I love featuring women and mothers who have been through rough times and helped themselves or the people around them heal with some sort of holistic modality or alternative medicine. And today I'm talking with a mama who has been through a heartbreaking loss of one of her babies and her story of pulling herself out of the darkness using essential oils. Katie is a mother to six wonderful children, including one true angel. She is married to her best friend and wishes she lived in, an, in a musical. Katie has extensive experience in multiple energy healing techniques, including the emotion code, the body code, and in using essential oils to help regulate emotions. Katie is passionate about helping women work through their difficult suppressed emotions and setting them free. Her life mantra is control your emotions, control, control your life. So without further ado, here's my interview with Katie Williams. So Katie, just before um, we're jumping into, you know, the nitty gritty of the interview today, can you, ta- can you share your healing story with us? What, ha- what happened and how you found healing for yourself? Well, um, my story is honestly kind of a complex story. It has a lot of layers like most healing journeys do. We don't all just, you know, go from point A to point B, but, um, I started last about five years ago. I had had my fourth baby in six years, five years. And so I was exhausted. I remember I was always tired. My body had gone through a ton of work to produce these four amazing children. And I just remember feeling always overwhelmed, always tired, always just trying to stay caught up on my day. And I knew that there was more. I knew that I could feel all of the amazing feelings that I knew I should be feeling, but wasn't. And I wanted that. And so I thought, okay, well, you know, you've been trained all your life to go through doctors. And so I went to every doctor that I could possibly go to. Mm -hmm. And they, they just kept telling me that I was fine. I mean, I did, I did MRIs. I did I did every test because I would have all these headaches and I did every test that they ever told me to do. Nothing Mm -hmm. came back. 
And I was so frustrated. I was at the end of my rope. I was like, whatever. So they just told me, well, let's just put you on antidepressants and maybe it can just help you just cope. And I was like, no, I, I know that's not right for me or my family. Cause I wanted to be able to feel the highs and the lows. I mean, that's natural in life. And so, um, I was introduced to essential oils and, um, I only use them just a little bit and they actually did have a huge improvement for me and my children. So we used to go to the doctor all the time. One month we actually went so many times they gave us a free visit. Like not even kidding. They were like, you've been here so many times you, Mm -hmm. you get this free. So we did. So we just did that. So we started using those just a little bit Mm -hmm. and they did help. And I'm grateful for that. But I didn't know how low I was going to go like, Mm. uh, so four years later, so two years ago, I, um, (laughs) I always get emotional when I talk about this, but, um, I was expecting my fifth child any day and, um, noticed he hadn't moved. And so we went to the hospital and, um, found out he didn't have a heartbeat. Mm. And, uh, my world crashed. Obviously you can imagine the heartbreak of expecting a child and then telling you that you don't get to have them in this life and all of the crazy range of emotions that you go through. And, um, I hit rock bottom. I, I, at least I hope it's what my rock bottom is. It was, Mm hard, hard, hard for me to gather back what I wanted. Like it just shattered my thoughts of me being a mom because I was like, I know I had my four other children and they are what kept me going. But knowing I wasn't quite the mom that I thought I was going to be. So the difference between my reality and my dreams had just shattered. Right. And so I became depressed. I became full of anxiety of what would happen to my other children because something bad had already happened to one. So I became, like I said, I, I, I was, Oh, I was just everywhere. And every single day I would just go through the motions and I, I, I didn't have any light. I didn't have any joy. I didn't have, I mean, nothing, there was nothing. Every night I would go to sleep and I would just, oh, I still remember just how horrible I, I was not every night. I didn't want the night to come because the dark would just take me and then everything's quiet and there's nothing to do except for just be in your thoughts and be with yourself. And that was so hard for me. I'd never felt this way. Like I was typically a pretty happy, like positive person. I couldn't find that person again. And so I went to my doctor and they actually told me in the hospital that I should go on antidepressants and I told him no. And then this was, this was probably six or seven weeks later, went to your postpartum visit. You still had to go even though you didn't have a baby. And I, I was a mess, but I still told them, no, I didn't want to numb those feelings. I wanted to feel them. And (laughs) thinking back now, I'm like, maybe I should have, but I'm very grateful that I didn't because I have found my journey and that's where my story is, is in the strength that I had to find. So that's my story in a nutshell. Mm. <laughs> so there's lots of obviously other layers, but that's, yeah. that's where it got me where I am. So. Yeah. So just before we move on, I, I just, I just want to say I have so much compassion for you. It's not pity. I, I, I don't like to feel, feel sorry for people because I do believe that whatever we go through in life is just part of your journey, of our journey, just like you said. So 
you know, I have so much compassion for you. I can't even imagine how it is to go through nine months. And was it nine months for you? Yeah. Yeah. It was, I was like three days. I was actually in labor. And so wow. when, uh, yeah, so we had, we had a court accident. So that's, yeah, it was <laughs> any day, any day it was supposed to come. Right. So, you know, I think grief is one of the hardest human emotions to, pro to process. And as moms, we are unfortunately not immune to um, losing people that we love. And, you know, we lose people, women lose their parents, uh, their spouses, siblings, and friends sometimes to cancer or other diseases. And I see it around me all the time. Um, a lot of moms also go through miscarriages. Um, which are extremely difficult to process, even if, you know, you didn't reach to, you know, the full term, uh, even, you know, losing a baby after two or three months, it's, it's very, very painful. Very. And um, so my question to you is, um, why is it important to grieve? Why can't we just hide from the world, suppress our feelings and <laughs> numb ourselves? I wish we could some days. In fact, <laughs> there, uh, we just had uh, his two-year anniversary mark and birthday. We call it his birthday in heaven. And um, man, I wish I could have just hit under a rock. It's all the emotions and all of the hard comes back again. But I, I think um, why we can't do that. There's just so, so much power in letting go of the things that we can't control. And with my background in um, emotional healing and um, that, th if we keep and trap the emotions and the um, things that we feel inside our bodies, it will actually affect us physically. So all of these emotions, they can actually change the way that our bodies will work and so it is very important whether you go through a holistic healing um, practitioner or other means there are other ways to get those emotions on um, it's very important for us emotionally as well as physically to let them go and it doesn't serve us to stay hidden under that rock and to keep that grief on us because we literally can't do anything about it. We can only choose to how we react and how we then can take our story and help other people. Right. Right. I agree. I think um, that's a very good point you have there. And other than that, I think also, especially if you have children, I mean, you can't just stay in bed. <laughs> there were days that I was like, I am doing nothing. And that, and I'm not like that anymore. It's still hard. There are days and there will be forever. Mm. But I know that when I have a hard day, I have the support and stuff that I have learned through essential oils to help me support my moods. I know that my bad days are that just that. They're not going to extend into days and weeks and months and years, whatever. I know that I can have a bad day. That's fine. I have the support I need to then move on and keep my kids, my other kids. I want my other kids to know that they have a brother and I, and that they didn't lose their mom because they lost their brother. And, um, we have since had another baby and sometimes that's actually hard as well to watch mm -hmm. him hit milestones that his other brother didn't get to. And so there are always going to be hard moments, but because like, so when I need to, I have this support of essential oils or I've had the things that like the meditation and the journaling and all that stuff, all those powerful tools that have helped me deal. And, um, it's fabulous so that you can help around those around you. Um, you know, I'm curious, the emotional healing that you've done, I know you've used essential oils and we're going to talk about that a little bit in a, you know, in a few minutes. Uh, I wonder the, the other component, did you do it by yourself or were you, were, did you hire a coach, somebody who walked you through, like how did you support yourself? So I am trained in the emotion code and the body code. Um, it's a system created by Brad, uh, Brad Nelson, Bradley Nelson. And, um, 
I am trained in that. Sometimes it's hard to work on yourself. So mm -hmm. I, I actually have a friend who does very similar stuff. So I would call on her sometimes um, to help me get like the big stuff that I didn't want to find. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. sometimes your body, you just, you stop yourself from doing that. But no, I did most of it just on my own only because I wanted to. I, it sounds weird, but I wanted to feel this whole journey. Mm -hmm. And now I know why, because I'm supposed to share it. And so I, I did a lot, just a lot on, because I already knew how to do it. So mm -hmm. I think it's incredible because, I mean, one of the things in my own coaching, when I talk to parents about conscious feeding, I, I always go back to the fact that the, the number one thing we have to teach ourselves and also obviously to teach our children is to regulate, to learn how to regulate our difficult emotions. So things like anger, depression, or, you know, because all of that, it's just energy. And it's interesting, you're saying that you wanted to um, sort of cleanse yourself out of it, because it's, it's definitely an energy that has been accumulated in your body, and it needed to be detoxed out. And, um, and I think it's, it's, it's wonderful how you know, that you were open to the, the cleanse, <laughs> you know, we go through in my practice, we go, we, you know, I do sometimes, uh, like detoxes and actual, you know, um, we do it through juices or smoothies or food to, you know, cleanse ourselves physically. But I think emotional cleanse is so powerful and has to go head in, hand in hand. So I guess for sure they both go hand in hand a lot because the actual emotions will to so like anger, they act, it actually it hangs out in the liver. And mm. so it's, it's very, the physical and the emotional body right hand in hand. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So, right. You know, I wonder, I mean, this, this show is not about, you know, religion or stuff like that. I'm just, I'm just so curious to ask you, where was God in this whole journey? Like, how did you feel towards God, towards the creator? Um, I'm going to cry again, but um, <laughs> right step by step in every, every part of it. and um, which has been a huge strength for me. I, um, I grew up being religious and um, have always been. And um, that was actually the first person my husband and I went to and said, okay, you put us on this journey for a reason. Help us find the reason. And um, that's, yeah. Right there. He's, he's right there through every step. So, mm. <laughs> so, um, so now, like, my next question is tied to <laughs> so beautifully. I, I want to talk about forgiving because I think a lot of the times people who lose someone dear to them, um, they experience emotions such as, you know, anger, guilt, or just scary emotions, which we were obviously never – taught how to process. So can you give us an example of using the, let's say the emotion code to help yourself forgive? Like how did you, how did you, for, who did you have to forgive to in the process? Um, honestly, grief comes with a lot of crazy emotions. So you, you, you literally go through the gamut of where you're placing the blame and where you're whatever. So there were times I wouldn't say that I was angry with God more like what the heck. Right. So my husband and I have, we can provide for our children. We have a very loving environment to bring them into. And so you're just like, why wouldn't you want another child with us? You know? And so that was kind of a, a hard thing. Mm. I've had to, I, th I think a lot of us as women, um, 
I know it wasn't anything that I could have done differently, but um, there's always that element of kind of forgiving that um, you have to forgive yourself kind of for the things that you have felt. Um, and there's actually an essential oil blend that has helped let go of some of that forgiving. It actually gives you this power to let that stuff go. And that has been a huge thing for me to let go and forgive myself. Not so much because it was my fault that um, my son died, but because of all the things that I was holding on to. So like for my depression and the anxiety that I was having, I needed to forgive myself for having those feelings and letting myself really let go of that anxiety that there was going to be something to happen to my children. So the forgiveness came more internally. Um, but I know there's people out there that, you know, that, that have a different story than me and their grief will be journey will be very different. So forgiveness is huge because it doesn't, when you don't forgive, it just festers in your body. Right. Therefore creating physical symptoms. So. Right. Right. So this energy is just being stored. Just, in there. Yeah. And it's awful. No one right. wants to feel that way, you know? Right. So. Right. So, you know, thank you for mentioning essential oils because I want to, I want to go there like with you. Um, and that's my next question. How, how do you use essential oils to support yourself? I mean, like actually my, my question is, what happens in the brain that helps with these kinds of emotions with depression and anger? So the, the first thing that I recommend to anybody who's struggling emotionally is what's called the lifelong vitality supplements. And they actually support us from the inside out. So we actually have like three brains in our body. So one of them is our gut and one of them is our, you know, our actual brain and then our emotional center. And um, when we support our insides, <clears throat> we can be able to naturally, like you say, cleanse out our bodies. So the lifelong vitality actually helps us. Um, it has essential oils in it. And so we take them internally. It helps us just function well so that when we are hit with huge emotions, we have the power and the energy to know what to do with them. So that's my number one. Anybody who's struggling emotionally, I feel like can really benefit from. Um, but what happens in our brain when we use the essential oils? If you think of the most amazing smell that you've ever smelled. Like usually it has to do with food. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you think of the emotions that come up with that, so think, so most people use and understand the concept of like apple pie or a pie cooking or baked, fresh baked cookies right, or something right. like that. I mean, if you can smell, like take a deep breath, smell that there's something that happens in your brain, right? That helps you feel happier and mm. like, that so that is what happens it actually the aroma of our oils and you can use them aromatically or topically so topically helps get into our bloodstream but then it also benefits us aromatically so that olfactory nerve will actually trigger in your brain the memories and if it's a painful memory that comes up the essential oils actually help us release what that is and therefore letting it go so that our, it can all like our energy, our body all can function all together. And so that's where the power of the essential oils comes from as you're supporting yourself. So just to make it super clear for people who listen, um, essential oils are, you know, used for the purpose of, of, you know, healing from grief um, are you use them hand in hand, like, not uh, uh, with some kind of an emotional release technique, right? You don't just sit there and smell them. You actually use the essential oils and the, the, the aroma uh, in order to sort of trigger yourself or sort of um, like start this process and then 
continue it with the other method we've talked about, like you said, journaling you, or, or talking or, or like talking it out or crying it. <laughs> yeah, crying it out. Um, you can actually have um, the, uh, the oils are powerful enough that they will do it by themselves if you allow them, if you are ready for healing, if you're, if you're, but if you're using them, you're giving your subconscious permission to heal. And so, um, it doesn't have to come with other things, but when you pair it with other things, the journaling and stuff, that's where the power is. So you, I teach people to do positive affirmations to help them through, um, their day and through the moments that they don't know. So if we've already programmed our brain to do that, um, and think of our positive affirmation when something comes up bad, we automatically go towards that and I pair it with an oil. And so then when you, if you need that extra support, you smell it or you put it on you and there's, that's where the power happens is that when there's two combined, um, forces. So you're using your essential oils, but you're also using the other methods, but they all honestly by themselves will, if you allow them. So Wow. I, I can't even grasp the, the concept because I think it's so, it's crazy. It's insane how just the power of smell or scent can help you heal from such a difficult uh, emotion. Like I, I can't even imagine, like why don't our doctors <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> if only I know were, the answer because they don't know. We're but hoping like, that someday it will be a mainstream thing. But if you go to an acupuncturist, um, we have meridians, which are just energy flows. A lot of acupuncturists or chiropractors or more into the natural healing part, they will use essential oils because those trigger points are triggered by the power of the essential oils and you don't have to use very much on oils like one drop is yeah. enough yeah they're and very it's concentrated That's and it's true. amazing because it helps you so much with one drop so the cost is so minimal that it's so powerful but yet it relieves so many, so many crazy. It's, I, I love it. I just, I get so excited when I talk about that because <laughs> the power that they have is just phenomenal. I, yeah. and I haven't even tapped into the complete power of it. Like I'm still learning. I still love learning about them. And I just, I love passing that on to the people that I, you know, the, the that's what my journey is about. It's this healing journey of finding your true self again. So. Mm. So let's talk a little bit about those blends because I know I see um, uh, on the uh, free PDF that you're uh, we're going to talk about also later. Uh, you have here um, the lifelong lo no these are the lifelong uh, th these are the supplements which that are was the supplement yes. the first one yeah and then you have there is the forgive renewing blend and then there is console concord. Con comforting blend can you talk a little bit about them how how do they work like are they a combination of different oils they are yes so each of these so doTERRA has come out with and I'm I'm a rep with doTERRA they um I've chosen them because of their quality and um so I um they've come out with this emotional blend group that um has it has um uh, one that's called console, a comforting blend It has forgive and their scientists um, have actually gone in and they've studied the chemical compound of each of these oils and how they react to our bodies. And so they've bought, brought them all together into these powerful blends. And so instead of having to have each of these individual oils that you use, you can just turn to this blend for emotional healing. Each mm -hmm. Each oil has a physical property as well as an emotional property. And so they have just combined the very best ones to help with this. Mm. So. Okay. So which oils are in them? Are um, it's all just, it's all just different. Um, this, the one that I, to uplift your mood is cheer and it has all of the, um, citrus, um, oils in it. So it, it, literally will 
uplift your mood the minute you smell it. I actually have one. They have, they come in little roller bottles. I actually have one in my purse. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So if I'm out running errands and I'm like triggered by even like grumpy driving, right. I will roll it on and I'm like, Oh, I smell better. Like I feel better. But, um, the forgive, no, the peace one, it has a lot of grounding blends. So, um, we get our grounding from the tree oils. So it has like cedar wood or sandalwood and it, it literally grounds us to the earth again. Mm. So if you think of a tree and its trunks and its roots, I mean, it's there, right? It's not going anywhere from the earth. And a lot of the time peace, um, it is, it helps with anxiety. So a lot of times our anxiety is from, unrealistic fears. Um, so like I had an unrealistic fear that my children were going to, my other children were going to die now because one did. And, and the, you know, it's not hand in hand. That's, that's not just because one died doesn't mean that the other ones did. And so I would use this peace blend to help my just journey, you know, to just ground yourself, to let you know that this anxiety isn't real. So that's, that's what the peace one, the console actually has, um, some powerful oils in it to help us. I used it a lot when, um, if I knew I was going into a situation where I was going to cry, um, I would use it then. Um, I, I'll never forget the one time I've since, since, um, two years ago, I've had a few people who have lost um, a mother or father or someone, I always take them this blend because, um, it helped me so much. I don't know. I, I'm, I doubt I'm the only one, but when you cry and you really cry and you ugly cry, you have a headache. And I remember just smelling this blend and within 10 seconds, no lie, my headache was gone. It was like, what? This is insane. Like that was the first time I was like, okay, I need to get these oils to more people because this console blend literally took away that awful, crazy headache that you get when you ugly cry and crying's good. Literally it's, it's a very cleansing healing thing, but you don't want the aftermath for it for days. Right. So this was, this was crazy. So, So, I mean, I love that because I love how you mentioned that, it comes from, so the grounding comes from the trees and the, um, the calmness comes from the citruses because it just shows us, and I love, I could, just because I'm a nutritionist, <laughs> I love how, how it just shows um, to, it just shows us which, you know, the, the beautiful synergy that we have, that humans have with the earth, you know, that we are not separate from it and that in order to, bring ourselves back to balance we need er the earth you know some components from the earth to help ourselves so this is just beautiful how how it all kind of works it really does just work so hand in hand and these this the oils that we use um doTERRA actually sources them from the actual site where they grow so they are like the top of the line products that they can they're, I mean, they're picked at their season, they're picked at their peak. And so they are literally the most powerful thing that you have on the earth. And they just put them into this little bottle so that you can capture that power. Whether, I mean, you couldn't go rub up against a cedar wood tree, right? So right. it's like, you might as I can well. tell you, I can tell you one of the ways that I use essential oils is because I, I have an issue with anger. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us do. <laughs> yeah, and when and especially I use uh, the um, the citrus, the the orange blend, uh, especially on Sundays when my all of my kids are home. <laughs> and just so that I don't go crazy, I have it uh, in the kitchen diffusing, and I like I have to say, just when I come to the kitchen, you know, because I run up and down <laughs> on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but when I come back to the kitchen, it's just, well, by the way, I have a diffuser in all of the floors, but you know, and on Sundays I have the kitchen one working and then just by entering the kitchen and inhaling that amazing <laughs> smell, 
just that makes me feel so calm, so much calmer. Yeah, yeah it's pretty amazing. It's, it's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. For sure. I, I mean, I've, there's so much to learn about essential oils and I think it's all over the internet. I see more and more people get into it and I think it's exciting to, to learn about the, the benefits of, you know, using the, these oils to, to help ourselves. So, um, you know, we're coming to the end of our uh, interview. I just, before I let you go, can you share why it is so important for you to do this work and why you're sharing your personal journey and story with all of us? I, I think obviously God has had a hand in this too, but I, Honestly, like I want to share my story so that if I can help one person feel less pain and grief and whatever darkness that I did, it'll be worth it. And I, I want, I want people to know that there's more out there. You, you can feel like that person that you've always like inside your brain, you have this person that you think that you should be. I, I want people to know that you can, you can be that person and you can have happiness even during the hard times of sorrow and grief or depression and anxiety. There can, there can be hand in hand. It, you, you can have both. You don't have to always just be in darkness and, and you can have this beautiful life that you, that you want and using your story to create strength and to create joy again. So that, that's why I share. That's, that's why I do what I do because I want that one person. And if I can reach more people, fantastic to just, just know that there's two ways and that you can be who you want to be. Mm. So, you know, there, there are two questions I ask all my guests. Um, just before I let them go. <laughs> and question number one is, you know, this show is all about uh, empowering ourselves as mothers to, first of all, take care of ourselves and obviously take care of our families so that we can build and create a beautiful family and also, you know, healthy family and in turn um, create a healthier world. So my question to you is, how do you take care of yourself? What are your daily non-negotiables? As a mom of five kids, <laughs> I'm sure you have some tips for us. I mostly, Other than essential oils. <laughs> right, right. Um, I do what's called a miracle morning every morning. And mm. I get up even just 10 minutes before my other children. And I take the time to really manifest what I want to feel that day. Um, whether it's in my business or if it's in my personal life or even my marriage, um, I take that time. And, and then I, I, for my self care, um, it's been way, even way more important for a self care since I've been hit with grief and depression. I, if I can feel myself slipping, I know that I haven't given myself time so even something as simple as like um, going outside and writing in my journal or reading, I mean, five minutes of a book while my baby naps or um, my husband's very supportive. So um, he knows, <laughs> he can tell that if I'm, my cup is too full, um, he'll send me out the door and even just going to the grocery store by myself is a win. And so there, there are very, it's, it's very important to take care of you so that you can take care of the ones that you are in charge of and that you love. So mm -hmm. there's yeah. Yeah, huge power in that. Yeah. And what advice would your now self give to your pre mommy self? <laughs> uh, hang on, <laughs> hang on for the ride. It's, it's not always easy, but there are so many times as my older children are getting older. Um, oh, they just, they just make me so happy. And I just, you know, slow down, enjoy them. It's, although that's, I mean, that's so hard to most days, but when you support yourself and your moods and your emotions, you can feel that and you can see that. And, and honestly, like I, I would seriously tell myself that like chill out, mm -hmm. <laughs> everything doesn't matter as much as you think it does. And it's, right. 
and it's, but it's, yeah, it's a beautiful journey. Motherhood is an amazing, amazingly hard, <laughs> but beautiful thing. Mm, yeah. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> Definitely. Just, I think all mothers so, agree. <laughs> yeah, just relax. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. So Katie, um, can you tell everybody, everyone about the, the blog post that you've written and also the, uh, the free resource that you've created for our community? Yeah, so my blog post just goes a little bit more into my story um, of where I was and how I got out and all of that. My um, the PDF is just the like a five step approach to natural healing of grief and anxiety. Um, it also will have a um, link to my Facebook group where we go over. I um, offer. Um, affirmations each week and journaling prompts and, and just ways to deal and um, with emotions that come up, the, the powerful ways that um, that is happening. Um, also, I do essential oil education in there. So there's lots of things that benefit from there. And, and there is a link there on my um, PDF. So. Yeah. So just guys, just go uh, to the bottom of the page uh, where it says, um, do you need help getting your emotional, your emotional blend oils? Come join my Facebook group. So it's not very clear here. I just want to make sure I, I say it. So just click on beautiful healing. Um, that's the Facebook group and, uh, you'll be invited in. I guess. Yeah. And then I also, I'm going to, um, give you a link to my calendar. Um, I'm offering off, offering 20 minute consults on what essential oils will help you and the, what products I think could help you. Um, and so I will have that calendar set up to, um, that it'll be on my, on my post. There. And we'll, yeah, we'll have it in the show notes. So oh, okay. everybody Perfect. can, yeah, yeah. So other than that, uh, do you have a website that you want to share? Where can people find you? Yeah, so I have a website. It's called um, beautifulhealing.org, and um, it's a work in progress, so it's not where I want it yet, but it will get there. There's some blog posts on there talking about affirmations, and, and there will be more to come for that. But um, I also have a direct link to doTERRA, my doTERRA, um, and if you do end up um, going the essential oil route, if you join my team um, on doTERRA, you actually get the benefits of continuing education through me and as me as a, a helper to help you find the oils that you need. So that one is um, doTERRA.com slash beautiful healing. And um, yeah, so the, those are, and I'll, I will give those links to you so that you can awesome. find them as well. So. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so, so much, Katie, for, yeah, thanks for having know, me for being vulnerable. I know, uh, it's, uh, I know it's part of, of your calling, but I know every time you do it, you cringe and it's difficult and <laughs> your, heart, your heart is, you know, in pain, but thank you so much for, um, just, you know, being true and staying true to yourself. I really, um, I, I really acknowledge you for that. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Thank you for listening to the health begins with mom show. I love hearing from you, so please post your comments and questions over at healthbeginswithmom.com forward slash podcast. If you love the show, please share it on social media and in your real life with other moms who might enjoy this content. And if you have a burning question or topic you'd like me to hit on the show, just drop me a line at dorit at healthbeginswithmom.com. And if you love this show and really want to support it, please go to iTunes, write a review, and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll catch you next time. Much love and many blessings.